What happens is if you... Oh, my God. Do you want it hooked? Yes. If we don't start with outfit malfunctions... Okay, it's ho- I actually hooked it. Okay, today we're shooting with Lakota. Do you want me to need this? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. You make me look better. Okay. And fatter. Anyway, we're shooting with Lakota today. We're using the GVM LEDs. And I got a little something that I never use. Um, well, I use it like maybe once or twice every year. <laughs> uh, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money. Just because somebody's name on it doesn't mean it should be $500. Now, granted, it doesn't have all the little features that that one has, but this one works. Um, it does a really good job, and it was perfect. It was like $100, $120 off of Amazon, so I'll leave the link in the description after the video here. Anyway, let's get into the shoot and see how this does. Um, it's a really nice unit, but I'll show you a little bit more after it, after she changes. I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, what? Girl. Right? Girl. Isn't that cute? I knew you'd like that. Okay, so this is going to be a quick one because I just really wanted to show you this unit. You know, it, it really is a nice unit for the price. It's inexpensive. Uh, and f compared to the last one I had, this is much better. And the lens on it is actually really nice. It does focus really well. Um, it does get sharp when you focus it. So I kind of love this for the price. Uh, it is really inexpensive for this kind of unit. Okay, so while she's picking the next shape for our gobo thingy, um, let me just show you this up really quick. So <laughs> I have the softbox over here with the grid, um, just to keep it from coming on the background completely. And then this is right here, the gobo is right there with the, it's about 15 feet from the backdrop. Um, it's a nice little setup. It's gonna work out pretty well, I think. And I just wanna show you this thing really quick so you see what it is. <laughs> Ooh. Let me turn this down really quick. Holy. Remember, this gets hot. <laughs> Told me all. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so this is the whole unit. This is heat sink, which is hot right now. <laughs> and burning the... This is the lens. It's a 50 millimeter, so 15 feet is plenty. And they do have a wide angle adapter for this. And this is where your gobos go. Remember, when you're doing this, get a pair of gloves, because... The burning right now is unbelievable. Um, but I just want to act really cool on camera for you guys and, and not scream and yell for the third degree burns that I'm getting right now. So <laughs> hope you appreciate that. So getting back to the shoot, I'm just going to go through some, like a couple of the included gobos that came with this. There's a lot of the designer ones like, um, you know, like trees and starbursts and a star and, you know, mountains, that kind of stuff. Uh, but for me, I just use these kind of shapes, um, and you know they work for me. They you know they do what they have to do. Like I said, the lens is actually pretty good on this, and you can get that line extremely sharp. I played with it. I made the line sharp and blurry and and different things. Now for this, the gobo is on the white light, and I'm using the fill light or the um, softbox as the color, and this works pretty well. But, you know, it, you do have to do some work in post, uh, you know, to work on the skin. And sometimes you can get it right and sometimes just not so much. Uh, you know, the key here is to turn that white light up brighter. Um, I didn't have it at full power here. So if I did, it would have like washed some of that red out uh, just a little bit more for me. And it would have been a little easier to fix in post. But red is really hard to fix in post no matter where it's at. It's like every time I walk into a venue or something... Um, or a concert and they, you know, they're pushing the red lights. It just drives me crazy because I know I'm going to have a heck of a time, you know, trying to make it look good in, in post-processing. But anyway, this is a, a, a fun little unit. And for the price, you can't go wrong. You know, like I can see everybody going, no, I'm not spending $500 in this, you know, on one of these units. But for this, for $120, you really can't go wrong with it. So here I did put some flowers on here just to show you what it could do and and show you the now here's the thing the gobo light i didn't have the color light on that so i just used the filter because it comes with a filter set and you can you know put different color filters on it which is which was nice um but i just wanted to show you this, that as well uh the rest of the time i'm just using white light and i'm just going to throw that red uh, from the softbox again to show you one more shot 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to leave the link for this um, down below, uh, but it's a nice unit. I can really recommend this one for the price.